Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So, building realistic planes in Space Engineers. Well, talking about realistic planes, we need a few different features. We're going to need the wings to provide lift, tact, like a plane wing would actually do. And we all know in vanilla Space Engineers, that is not going to be a factor. The actual blocks themselves have no resistance to the air or anything around it. There is none of that actually calculated. So you can do all sorts of weird combat type maneuvers. So what we're actually going to do here is look at two mods that will help you build more realistic aircraft. So first off, we've got Takeshi's lovely plane parts mod. And there's two parts to this. There is his engines and propellers, and then there is his standard plane parts. And they do come with some extra features such as landing gears and different struts for building a bit of a stronger aircraft. So let's take one of these aircraft into the sky. Now, what I'm expecting from this modification, and I think you guys should do as well, is when you're actually flying, is for the aircraft to respond in a realistic manner. So it means that it requires room to take off. We can't actually take off here vertically. We're gonna actually have to gain significant speed to gain the lift under our wings. And it almost takes off naturally once you've done that. Now we're in the air, it behaves just like an aircraft would do. So if we turn, notice the meters a second down there, we do something stupid, we can stall the aircraft. And of course, if we don't recover that speed fast by maybe going into a dive, we're gonna have some serious issues on our hands here. But the way it performs and moves around the screen, you can just feel how realistic of an aircraft it actually is. And some basic plane parts like that just changing the whole function of the aircraft up and I feel like this is a whole new level to space engineers of course these modifications have been out for a while but for you that have wanted to explain the sort of explore the plane parts this is the first step now let's come into a landing so to come into a landing we're actually going to activate the air brakes there we're going to bobble up and down a little bit weed off a bit of this speed and we're going to try to land ourselves on the runway here but you can see we've came in a little bit fast so we're going to have to power through We'll get some more speed, gain some lift, and we're going to have to bring it back around. Flying a plane in Space Engineers prepared to a standard ship is much more of a challenge. And on top of that, you're doing things like I've just done there. I'm going to go into a stall. I'm going to have to regain that power as fast as possible. So fighting using these blocks is going to be a challenge in its own. So we've got ourselves to good speed. We've got the air brakes now activated. And we're going to come in for a landing. We don't want to hit our brakes straight away, though. We just want to slow ourselves down nice and steady bring ourselves to the end of the runway like so so there's one of his planes that is designed just so you can test out and it pretty much uses his blocks in full because his blocks behave differently and react and create lift where necessary so over here we've actually got ourselves another one of these now this is of course more surface due to it being a biplane so you'll notice we have a lot more maneuverability when it comes to flying this one so let's um Turn our wheels off. Oh, Aaron, behave yourself. Oh, we've got to end up in an area we don't want to end up in. Can we get ourselves out of it? That's the question. I don't think we're going to be able to. I think we're stuck. Let's just port this back over here onto the runway for the moment. So this is one of the little train aircraft. Instead of having a propeller on, this one has just got the thrusters. So we've got good acceleration. You can see how it just picks itself off the ground. And the maneuverability due to that double wing is far better. We're gaining so much more lift. We can we can wiggle about, and you can see we're not losing that much speed. But still, at the same time, we are flying like a plane. We're not doing stupid maneuvers. Like, if I do that, you can see how the speed does drop. We start to stall. I need to pick up the speed. And it requires quite a bit of confidence to actually get into a fight and survive it. That's what I really do like about that. So if you are considering having the plane mod on and having some battles with your friends, the, the whole flight mechanics over a standard ship are totally different. So let's bring this into a landing. We're going to bring up our flaps. You can see that our uh, acceleration is deaccelerating quite quickly. And if you've got not got yourself a, a, a nice runway like this, you can use other sorts of flat surfaces like the lake over there. Well, there we go, bring that to the ground there. And of course, we're going to have to have a bit of stopping room over the standard thrusters where it's just straight up and off you go. Let's part this one up over here at the end, right next to the other one. If we hit P too hard as well, we'll go over on our nose. So there we go. We'll have a go at some of the larger aircraft now. So we've got two of these ones from Communi Community Creations. I've left down a link in the comment section below or the description below so you can check them out for yourself. We've also got Husker's Spitfire here. Now these ones work slightly uh, a little bit different. You can see they've got some of the plane parts in, 
but they've also been crafted using some of the standard blocks as well just so they can have a bit of a better shape to them you can see the engines there have the housing this is a much heavier aircraft but due to the surface area and the use of them blocks they still fly really nice they love the interior by Aragath here as well so let's get ourselves in the cockpit and we're just going to taxi it onto the runway nice and steadily just pulsing our accelerator as we go we're in control of that rear tail rotor and we're going to need as much runway as possible so let's hit the throttle go to max and bring this over the airfield so with more weight we're going to have to generate more lift and bring ourselves into the sky so you can see we're not even capable of taking off just until we get over here now the acceleration's kicking in and with an aircraft of this size it means that if we do any stupid maneuvers we won't be able to recover like the smaller ones that are more nimble so we're going to have to fly it in a more traditional manner when we bank into our turns i'll demonstrate that now i'll climb a bit of altitude and then i'll do a ridiculous turn usually in an aircraft pulling this amount of g would probably knock you out anyway so let's just try spinning it really hard you can see how the meters a second is just dropping off really quick and the only way i'm going to be able to recover this is probably going into a dive like i did before and pulling myself up so you can do these maneuvers if you want to but when you're stalling you're going to be extremely vulnerable of course with a larger aircraft comes a larger risk with landing it as well what is cool about this one as well they'll just hop out you, you can actually run around and man the various different turrets there is some awg weapons on this particular bomber but let's bring it back around there is no air brakes on this aircraft so it means we're going to have to feather the throttle i've done it again i've dropped the speed brought us into a slight stall hopefully the engines will be able to recover us there we go really nice indeed so these planes behave extremely realistically in the how they bank how they turn and so we're going to drop the acceleration down now we're going to have to lose some of this speed though because otherwise we're going to have some big issues we'll try putting it down here we're just we're coming in too fast we're going to hit the aircraft at the other end so we're going to bring it around so com coming into landing is a whole other thing to take in consideration so Let's bring ourselves a nice bank here. Try not to do anything too unrealistic or we're going to start stalling. You can see the meters a second dropping down there. And perfect. I don't think that's a great line up on the runway. Oh no, Aaron. Don't crash into everything right now. Okay, I'm going to have to kind of just jiggle this back over here. But the, the whole aspect of this is you, you, you're thinking differently than when you'd stand in, standard sort of... Ah, what's the right wing? Oof. So there we go, we've, we've damaged ourselves on the landing. Yes, they are harder to land, they are harder to move in some ways. What we'll do is we'll just pop that out the runway there for the moment. But you're getting the idea of it. These aircraft, the bigger you build, the more challenging that you're going to get. And of course, with the surface of the wing, so we've got the same over here. This one's got more air brakes built in. It's more of a standard sort of civilian type plane. But this is going to be even heavier than that B-17 due to the amount of blocks that are used. So it's going to require even more careful piloting. So we're going to bring ourselves forward. We're going to keep a watch on our wings. We've also damaged it. Looks like we damaged one of the engines over there a little bit. And we're going to give ourselves a maximum acceleration. But we're going to put our flaps down so we can get the acceleration on the runway. And then we're just going to blitz it. Let's go for it. See if we can get up there. Come on. We need about it's probably 60 meters a second to take off in this aircraft. We've got quite a large wingspan, but we are quite heavy. Oh, come on. Keep the acceleration up. Don't catch the other side. Whew. There we go. We're in the air. Lovely. So now with the maximum acceleration, we could retract our landing gears and we can actually start to fly this thing. And this is even bigger than the B-17, so any sort of strange movements that I do on the stick, so to say, will relate back down. You can see how it's dropping in meters a second. Let's bring it back down and around. Since this one has got air brakes, though, it does allow for a little bit more of a careful landing. So I'm just going to manoeuvre it around into landing sort of position. And then we're going to activate the air brakes just as we come over the sand. So air brakes are coming in. You can see we're deaccelerating quite quickly. Hopefully not too fast. We don't want to clip, clap the end of that runway. And there we go. Touchdown. Lovely. So there's a whole new challenge into flying using this modification. And talking about that, I wanted to move over to the aerodynamics mod. So let's step ourselves outside and we're going to have a look at that right now. So the second mod we're taking a look at to get some realistic aircraft response is the aerodynamic wing mod. Now this one, once again, has been out for quite a while. This actually comes with only three blocks though. And the idea of it is you surround standard armoured blocks with the wing tips like this. And we've got on this nice little Cessna here. 
and by doing so it kind of activates that area as a sort of lift zone it can be a little bit harder to get used to and you do need the blocks on all planes to make the aircraft actually react realistically so let's activate control of the aircraft and we're going to begin accelerating up the runway so with this one we kind of need to disengage the friction on these wheels you can see we've already got a little bit of drift going on to the left hand side let's um, disable the friction on these wheels just to give us a little bit of a boost uh, let's find the wheels in the tab uh, let's go to wheels we've got the wheels there let's remove the friction for the moment so we can get a little bit more speed and acceleration okay so with this we're hoping that these wings do the jobs it, it can be a little bit worrying when you take off with the aerodynamic wing mod because you've got to really calculate quite hard how much lift you've got and at this one we've, we've taken off a little bit slow but if we gain a little bit of speed by leveling off here we should be fine so our little Cessna is in the air it is moving at quite some speed now and as we start to move into these turns you'll notice that it handles pretty much just like the other mod the only difference is is if i don't stick some of these wing tips you can see we've got the rear tail section facing up and facing down on the right planes it'll handle just like a normal space engineer ship of course it does punish you for turning hard you can see how it's putting my meters a second down at the moment but in other ways if i'm moving this aircraft up and around it can calculate a little bit more of how it feels to go into a dive how it is to pull up and you can see the response on this particular aircraft is a little bit slower to say but it depends how much gyroscope you put into it there's a, there's a lot that's going into calculating these aircraft and how they move and if you are a big fan of planes and you want to see them in space engineers either one of these mods is a really good option so let's try and take this Cessna in for a landing now without the other mod we don't get any air brakes so what we're going to have to do is lose a bit of that power that's going on. You can see we've got flaps, but the flaps won't be doing anything because they've not got any of the atmospheric sort of thrust on a plane to them. We've not got actually any of the planes on them. So let's let's drop our thrust. We're going to look for about that sweet spot, about maybe about 50. So I'm going to do some bobbing and weaving as we come into this landing. And we haven't got any sort of brakes on these wheels so oh, let's not stall it oh a bit of a stalled landing there oh, damn it we've lost the landing gear we've come into a crash landing but you can see it requires some skill to actually get these things on the ground and it's something you'll have to work on you'll have to train to an extra level super exciting though hopefully you'll give the various wing mods a little bit of a try so we're talking the aerodynamic wings and we're also looking at the plane parts mod. Give them a go, see which one works for you, and I will see you next time.